Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Chris Hall 2915 here. So, we've got another box that's needing to be opened. I know what's in this one. One of my friends, he ordered this from this company last week. It showed up today. He actually came by yesterday and we talked about it briefly. And when I say briefly, briefly, I know what it is. Let's get it open. That way I can show you guys what just came in that this customer ordered. And I want you guys in the comments, in the comments, if you guys have this gun, let me know what you think about it. This is kind of one of those guns where a lot of people's got a got an opinion on them but like me and my friend were talking is it the people that has opinions on them is that the people that don't have them or do have them I've never had one never seen one went to their website here a while back looked at them but I've never had one never had one in my hands don't know what to expect and by the way, got my sharper than anything knife. Yeah, it's got a little bit, little bit more cutting to do. And here is what we have. Boom shakalaka. Bear Creek Arsenal. Got some decals. Let me walk up and show you guys what What's in this here box? We've got Bear Creek Arsenal lower. Telescopics. It says on here Bear Creek Arsenal model BCA 15 multi caliber. Like I said, I've not had one in my hands. This is the first for me. Got a couple of decals. Pretty awesome decals. Maybe he watches these videos, so I probably couldn't sneak one out. But anyway, we've got this one. It says Bear Claw. I like it. We've got one with a grizzly bear. I really like that one. So, said I looked at this website a few months ago several months ago don't know much about them I know they're made in Sanford North Carolina and I've got family that lives down around Sanford North Carolina and I'm not aware that they have bears down there maybe they do maybe they don't I don't know what they're talking about where do you get your name Bear Creek Arsenal where do you get your name from being in Sanford, North Carolina, somebody get back to me. Get in touch with me. I want to know, do you guys have bears in Sanford, North Carolina? I've never heard my uncle mention anything about bears. Okay. So, we have a front and rear sight. Looks like these are, you know, probably maybe a 45 degree sight. They mount right there on your AR rail on top and they pop up. I, they've actually got Bear Creek Arsenal stamped right on them. I actually do like that. They feel pretty good. Like I said, I know nothing about them. If you guys have had any experience with them, let me know. I'm kind of curious myself. Is this something I want in my collection? Is this something I want to shoot? Uh, felt good. Felt nice. We've got another Bear Creek Arsenal box. And made in the USA. Can't beat good old made in the USA. And we have a upper. What do we have here? Let me show you guys. Got a Bear Creek upper receiver. Pretty cool looking muzzle brake. Flash hider. 
Looks like it's spiral fluted. Uh, all the way up to the gas block, and then right past the gas block, then it picks back up, pick backs, uh, backs up, and it spiral fluted all the way up to the receiver. Pretty nice. So, got a little milled in notch right here on the upper. Never seen that before. It looks, looks pretty cool. I'm not going to knock it because of that. And this is chambered in the old 223 Wild. That's a good, uh, if, if you can only pick one AR and you can't make your mind up whether you want a 5.56 or 223, get to 223 Wild. That way you don't have to worry about what ammo you're shooting. It, this right here, this will shoot. This will this will comfortably shoot 223 and also 556. Uh, five, five, so it's a good universal upper. I like that. But you guys chime in. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys have had any experience with them. Me and my friend haven't. This is his first Bear Creek Arsenal. Get this box back up. I'm not going to marry them together. I'll let him do that for the first time. Let him get that joy. And I'm not seeing anything. Don't see no manual. All I see is decals. Don't see no owner's manual. Nothing like that. Maybe I guess where this was a kit, kind of a kit gun. I don't know if that means it don't come with the owner's manual or nothing like that. But you guys know me, I'm always harping. The more you get, the more you're going to pay for in hidden cost. So us grown-up guys, you know, I guess we don't need an owner's manual. We know not to port, point this toward someone or something we don't intend to shoot. No need wasting money on a book, I guess. But never, never really seen that. But like I said, maybe it's because he ordered this as a kit, as a lower and also as an upper. So it came in in two pieces. It didn't come in together. It came in as two pieces. So I need to look at their website again and see how they've got that set up. So he ordered this. He ordered the lower, ordered the upper. They come in individually boxed and, and placed inside a bigger box. So new one on me. I don't know. But something else we need to discuss. The giveaway gun. Hold on. Here you go, guys. The giveaway gun. The KSG, the Caltech KSG 12 gauge. You know, we're first week of March. I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. I told, uh, I put that on YouTube. I said, hey, if I get a thousand subscribers by April 1st, I'm going to do another uh, gun giveaway like I did the be uh, in the beginning on my YouTube venture. Well, I still don't have a thousand subscribers. Does nobody, are these guns so bad? Nobody wants these, even if they're free, shipped to your FFL. I don't understand. I just do, do not get it. It's free. I've already gave away one gun, gave away a, Sav a Savage Axis 308, but nobody wants this gun. I'm, I'm not near my thousand subscribers, my thousand subs, and it blows my mind. Get me to a thousand subscribers, then we'll do another gun giveaway. This is it. This is a nice gun. This is pretty awesome, really. John Wick style, guys. John Wick style gun giveaway. So, you guys get me to a thousand subs and we'll give this puppy away right on YouTube. So, like always, thanks for watching. Chris Hall 2915. Next time.